Today I'm going to highlight a new therapy from a company called Century Biotherapeutics. It's very similar to Senna Biotechnology. This is a real foot race that could affect all of us type 1 diabetics very soon. We've got the whole story and I'm going to give it to you here right now. Thanks for joining us today. If you like our channel's content, feel free to hit the link in the description and buy us a coffee. We appreciate all our viewers who support our channel. Now on to our video. Breaking. Revolutionary CNTY813 Cell Therapy offers new hope for diabetes treatment. Hey Warriors, remember when we covered Sauna Biotechnology's hip technology last month? We have another exciting development to share. Century Therapeutics has just announced its first type 1 diabetes program called CNTY813, which utilizes some incredible immune-evasive technology. But here's what everyone wants to know. When can we actually access this? Meet Century Therapeutics. Century Therapeutics might not be as well known as some big pharma companies, but they're pioneers in stem cell therapy. They specialize in taking stem cells and turning them into different types of cells our bodies need. In this case, insulin-producing beta cells. What sets them apart? They're focused on creating off-the-shelf therapies, meaning treatments that don't require custom manufacturing for each patient. Think of it like a pharmacy for replacement cells, rather than a custom tailor shop. CNTY 813 is Century's lead T1D therapy, and it's designed specifically to solve the biggest problem with beta cell transplants, immune rejection. Here's the clever part. They take healthy stem cells, turn them into insulin-producing beta cells, and then equip these cells with a special invisibility shield called allo evasion technology. The goal? Create beta cells that can do their job without your immune system trying to destroy them, just like the sauna approach, but with a different method. Allo evasion 5.0, that's a mouthful, right? But the concept is brilliant. Allo means foreign, and evasion means avoiding detection. This technology helps cells evade detection by your immune system. Here's how it works. Every cell has surface markers that act like molecular ID badges. Your immune system checks these badges to identify friend or foe. Traditional donor cells come with foreign badges that trigger immune rejection. Century uses genetic engineering to modify these cells' ID badges. It's like giving them fake passports that let them slip past border control without triggering alarms. The cells can produce insulin normally, but your immune system doesn't recognize them as foreign invaders. CNTY 813 uses induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs. These are cells that can be turned into any cell type in your body. Century takes these stem cells and specifically guides them to become beta cells that make insulin. The beauty of this approach uses consistent, high-quality stem cell sources, creates an unlimited sum of insulin-producing cells, no need for human donors or waiting lists. Each batch can potentially treat multiple patients. This is an early stage, but the data is promising. Rapid glucose normalization in diabetic models, sustained normal glycemia, normal blood sugar over time. Cells produce insulin in response to glucose, exactly like natural beta cells, no chronic immunosuppression needed. Now here's what you really want to know. When could we actually access CNTY 813? Let me walk you through the realistic timeline. Right now, Sentry is finishing de-enabling studies. That's the final safety testing before human trials. If everything goes well, they'll submit their application to the FDA in 2026. The FDA typically takes 30 to 60 days to approve these applications. So we're looking at human trials starting in late 2026. Phase 1 trials will be small, probably 10 to 20 people, just to prove it's safe. That takes about a year, so we're looking at Phase 1 results in late 2027. Then Phase 2 trials with 50 to 100 patients to test how well it actually works. That's 18 to 24 months of testing from late 2027 to early 2029. Phase 3. The final big studies with hundreds of patients comparing it against current treatments. That's another to three years from early 2029 to early 2032. What does this timeline mean for your diabetes management? 2025 to 2026, just watch and stay informed. 2026 to 2028, clinical trials begin, results will start coming in. 2028 to 2030, monitor regulatory approval progress. 2030 plus, 
possible access to the therapy. The good news is that we're not relying on just one approach. SANA has similar technology that might be available earlier, around 2027, 2028. How does CNTY 813 compare to other T1D therapies in development? Further along, patient access potentially, 2027 to 2028. Vertex, already in trials, possibly available by 2027. CNTNT, behind, but offers off-the-shelf manufacturing advantage. Century's off-the-shelf approach could be a game changer. Instead of making custom cells for each patient, they could create batches that treat multiple people. This could mean faster manufacturing, lower costs, and wider availability once approved. Multiple approaches increase our community's chances of success. Different companies might solve the puzzle for different patient types. The off-the-shelf model could mean faster rollout once approved. Competition between companies drives innovation and could lower costs. We're living through an incredible period where multiple promising T1D therapies are advancing simultaneously. Century Therapeutics CNTY 813 adds another promising option to our growing arsenal of potential T1D treatments. Remember, we're in an exciting time with multiple promising therapies in development, Sauna, Vertex, and now Century. Each company brings unique approaches and that diversity could be key to ultimately helping our community. I'll continue tracking both Sauna and Century's progress. Multiple options mean more hope for everyone. Stay strong, warriors. Okay, so remember that. CNTY 813, Century Biotherapeutics, and lots of competition with this Aloe Evasion 5.0. I'm telling you that these technologies are coming out fast and furious, and that is a good thing for all of us type 1 diabetics because it breeds intense competition to get to the finish line. You know, we do stories um, about all of these players and the fact that we've got two now working on a cure with a transplant that actually hides the transplanted cells from the immune system. That's fascinating because you can avoid immunosuppression right away. So guess who that puts pressure on? Vertex Pharmaceuticals. They are working double time to get to a cure, but the one they're going to need first is going to require immunosuppression. So if these guys get to the finish line first and need no immunosuppression, that is going to have a big impact on Vertex. So that means they've got to double time it to try and find their cure that doesn't require immunosuppression. And these are just the companies we're highlighting. There are many working on this. So that's going to have a net effect of getting to the finish line faster and more competition will drive down, ultimately drive down the prices that we have to pay for these procedures and these therapies. I hope you're excited about this. I sure am. Leave a comment in the section. Feel free. I love to read your comments and we'll have another exciting video for you here real soon on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Until then, have a great day.